Hello, I'm Gary and these are my balls, something you should never be embarrassed to talk about. Actually, I've only got one ball and that's because I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. It's a young man's cancer that can be successfully treated in 98% of cases if it's caught early. If you've got the balls, stay watching to learn more. First of all, here's my story. What Gary found would turn his life as a Blackpool radio presenter upside down. At the end of the day, you're given a choice. Do you want to live or die? I was watching daytime TV and they'd done what at the time was groundbreaking, a testicular examination. And that night I was in bed and thought, I should try it myself. And the very first time I checked my balls, I found a lump. And at that moment, middle of the night on my own, it, it was like the world stopped. I, I, I feared the worst straight away. Went to the doctor the next day who uh, had a feel around, found something, said it's probably nothing, you'll be okay. But in my head from the very start, strangely, I, I was convinced I had cancer. Uh, within a day, I'd, I'd been for a scan, and actually there was a doctor and a nurse with this ultrasound machine and the gel going over my balls. And it wasn't the screen, it was watching their faces and their expression dropped. And that was the point, sadly, rightly, I, I found out, yes, it was cancer. For me, I had the tumour removed. Uh, unfortunately, though, the cancer had spread to my, my stomach, my chest and my lungs. It was, it was pretty aggressive. So I had to go through three months of chemotherapy, which is absolutely horrible, actually. I, I felt very ill. I felt lethargic. I had no immune system. I, I was throwing up. You know, life was on hold for those three months. And you know, the lesson for me, actually, was if, if I checked myself sooner, I may not have needed any of that. It's a very treatable cancer. If I hadn't checked my balls, I might not be here today to tell you the story of what happened to me and hopefully encourage other people to, to get over the embarrassment, to get over the taboo. It's, it's nonsense. Checking yourself means you'll be able to live your life to the full because caught early, actually, it's, it's one of the best cancers to get in a very strange way. Hi, I'm Luke Jones from Guernsey, and I'm currently playing for Leicester Tigers Academy. Balls come in all different shapes and sizes. Make sure you know yours, and get straight to the doctor if you notice any changes. Well, I've come to a place where men talk about balls come all on, the time. Welcome to Foots Lane, the home of Guernsey oh. FC. But what do men know about cancer? If I said to you the word cancer, what cancers spring to mind immediately? Bowel. Any others? Breast. What about another one? Lung. What about testicular cancer? Do you ever think about that? No, I don't. Lung. Any more? Bowel. Lung. Any others? Uh, uh, lung. Um, bone. Testacular, uh, lung cancer, breast cancer. Uh, those are the top three. Testicle. <laughs> Why is that? Because I'm a guy. And what do you know about testicular cancer? Not as much as I probably should do. Hi, I'm Guernsey cricketer Ross Nella. And when playing cricket, tampering the balls is strictly against the rules. But in life, it could be the matter of life and death. So don't be afraid to go to your doctor and get anything peculiar checked out. Well, whatever you call yours, the early warning signs of testicular cancer are usually both obvious and easy to spot. Things to look out for include a hard lump on the front or side of one of your balls, swelling or enlargement, an increase in the firmness of a testicle, pain or discomfort in one of your balls or in the scrotum, an unusual difference between one and the other. Other signs include a heavy feeling in your balls and a dull ache in the lower stomach, groin or scrotum. Hi, I'm Ryan Zuko Black. I play for Guernsey Football Club. Uh, about five years ago, um, I was checking my balls and I found a lump. Um, I went to get it checked out because I was very concerned about it. When I got it checked out, I had an ultrasound uh, examination and uh, it turned out to be fine. So if you find anything, check your balls regularly. If you find anything unusual there, or a little bit lumpy, 
It's best to get it checked out. Don't be worried about it. Get it checked out. Likelihood it'll be fine. Well, someone who knows full well the signs of cancer and actually dealing with it is, is Dan. Dan, just, just tell us, what's your story? Yeah, so kind of spoke to the doctor, and to be honest with you, he, he was probably of the opinion that, that it was probably a cyst in the first instance. He, he honestly didn't know and just sent me up for a routine ultrasound. Basically, you could see kind of on the screen the kind of my, my testicle, um, and there was a, a clear kind of white blob on the top of it. So when, during this journey, did, did the C word finally crop up? I got told that I was going to be going back to... The, got the call basically said come back to the GP the next day and, and that's where they, they dropped seaborne on me. Men don't talk about their balls, what, what, no. what do you say to encourage people? Certainly in my case, you know, I'm just living proof that, um, you know, getting to the doctor early um, you know, really, really has kind of saved me. I, you know, I was literally went from GP to surgery within, within a week, you know, everybody did their bit for me. All I had to do was just do my bit and get to the doctor. You know, it was embarrassing, you know, you know, going going there, you know, I, I did feel embarrassed. I, you know, but once I was there, it was all it was all absolutely fine. I'm Ben Furbrush, and as a batsman, it's essential to watch the ball. If you find any problems with your balls, get yourself down to a doctor as soon as possible. Right, Zico, Winchy. First of all, do you check your own balls? Um, I don't check mine, no. Yeah, I check mine. Uh, I've had mine checked out before, um, a few years ago. Uh, I found a little lump there, and uh, so I thought it would be good to get it checked out because it played on my mind for a little while. But uh, when I got it checked out, I had the ultrasound scan, and uh, everything was fine, so it was a nice peace of mind. So you've done it, you're okay. We need to convince you that you need to do it. Can I see your balls, please? There you go. You're a good man. This is how you check your balls. You do this about once a month, do it after a bath or after a shower, when they're warm, when they're soft to touch, and, and also when you're feeling relaxed as well. Work your fingers around each of the balls one at a time, and you're basically feeling for lumps and bumps. You might find a lump and bump in the middle, that's the epididymis, it's a tube that's in there, but the more you check it, you'll get used to what's already there, and you'll start feeling for different lumps and bumps. Are you following this? Yeah. yeah. You're well, there, you're well, there. Yeah. Not only that, it's not a solo activity. Get your girlfriend, get your partner, get whoever you like involved. The, the more hands on your balls, the better, the more chance of finding any changes. So that's the theory. Have you got it? I've got yeah. it. Behind you, the showers, it's time to put it into practice. Go check the ball. Hi, I'm Jason Winch, I play for Guernsey FC and I have an amazing pair of balls. Do you? Check them out because you never know and if you have a problem, see someone about it. So we now know there's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about. Indeed, it's your chance for a guilt-free feel. And remember, if anything does seem wrong, get yourself checked out. It really could save your life. Well, someone who knows full well the signs of cancer and actually dealing with it is, is Dan. Dan, just, just tell us, what's your story? <laughs> it's always free, yeah, 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 just, yeah. just nod and yeah, yeah, stare. Yeah, yeah. Come on, go on, It's a young man's cancer, but then but, 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 can't come. Huh? Don't do the shirt, darling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and if you get straight to the doctor, make sure you. Oh, I'm out of that. <laughs> if you get straight to the doctor, make sure. Come on, nuts. Uh, go nuts. I just don't. I just don't have a name. Now I'm with you, my balls. Yeah. Crown jewels. Bonks. Not allowed to say that, are you? <laughs> it's good. Thank you. Perfect.